what is up, you guys? Chelsea Briggs here, coming to you from Mixology 101, joined by my friend Keith of Atlas Genius. Hey, Chelsea. How you doing? I'm well. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. We're reunited. It's been three plus years. Three years since we, we chatted at South by Southwest. This is like a, a, the official reunion. The ultimate catch up. We're getting the band back together. The band is back together. We steal the molecules from the dead. We liberate inanimate objects. So you're officially living in LA now. Correct. So how has this been for you? What do you, do you like LA? Are you enjoying your yeah. time here? Living here is pretty easy. And for music right now, I feel like it's a golden era because I mean, every musician I know is living within the next, you know, the surrounding 10 miles, yeah. so it's great. Well, and you're a vegan. You've taught me a lot about the vegan lifestyle. Uh, uh, have I taught you? You have. Okay. We've talked about it many have, times. Yeah. But being in LA, I feel like there's so many options. Absolutely. Just down the road, I mean, yeah. just before I had lunch at Veggie Grill, which I go to every second day, um, my favorite restaurant in the world, Crossroads on Melrose. Nice. Just incredible. Wait, Crossroads is the restaurant? There's, there are two See, I, know the I know the clothing there's store. There's one that's a clothing <laughs> store. You, you can try and eat there, but you have to bring your own food. And then there's the restaurant. So it's the other crossroads. Okay, now I yeah, know. But so they're both on Melrose. Correct. I'm just Actually, put yeah, it they, out there. Maybe they could have like changed the name of one of those. But anyway, regardless. Well, I love your new music. Thank you. Uh, single, Stockholm right now. Second single is just out. Talk to me about it. What's the meaning behind the song? Well, the song was written in Sweden, hence the, the, the title Stockholm. It's the song that uh, the chorus is really about overcoming adversity and, and and embracing change and just uh, you know just going for going for the stars more of a positive anthem I think than, than say some of the say Trojans which was more of just like a reflection on on a failed relationship you know? <laughs> does it ever get old hearing your song on the radio I feel like I'd be torn with do you sit there and kind of just like be humble about it in a situation or are you like hey guys this yeah, is me you know, you've got to be humble about it <laughs> yeah. you've got to act like it's no big deal and that even though you're super excited inside that Keep it's it cool. just it's just whatever. Mr. Cool right here. I'm trying. Mr. Cool humble. I'm actually like more excited you. now. I'm more, more excited about this interview, but, <laughs> but I'm putting you. on my game face. Your second studio album, Inanimate Objects, Correct. Uh, came out in August. Yep. It, a little different sound than your first one. Yeah, I mean, it was two years um, after the first album. It's a little bit more aggressive, that maybe than the first one. We were a little bit more sure of ourselves, I think, going yeah. to the second album, because the first time you put out an album, it's like, it's, it's all very, uh, it's all very new. One of the songs on the album is called Molecules. That happened. I love that. I like that one. That's good. Thank one. you. And that happened within. Uh, it, the whole song was written within 24 hours. Jeez. And it's, it's rare. And it doesn't happen a lot. But when it does, you just thank you very much, gods of songwriting, because yeah. it's just, it just such a nice process. Because you don't have to like wear the song out before you finished it. You know. When that happens, are you like, okay, you deserve to be the first single? 24 hours. I'm making you the first single. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely becomes your favorite yeah. you know, uh, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the batch. With Stockholm, I want to know music video. Can we expect a music video? Yeah, soon? we're actually, we're working on, we've got a, a bunch of people working on one at the moment. So it'll be a few weeks, maybe a month or so. Okay. Or t until it comes out. You tweeted that you've been in the studio writing new music. Yep. Can we expect new music soon? Um, well, yeah, it's, um, there's a bunch of music that's not Atlas. That, so I've been doing some writing with some other artists. Um, I was in the studio with um, Patrick Carney from the Black Keys and Michelle Branch nice. the other day. Um, that was some stuff for her album, which is sounding great. So a lot of that kind of thing as well, because our own album is only is relatively new. Yeah. So, but then I've also been writing some Atlas stuff that will be for the for album three. Nice. Uh, do you enjoy writing for other artists? Yeah, it's very liberating because there's a you sort of set parameters that you write within for your own band. But when you're writing for someone else, you can throw that away and you can you can write a jazz song. Or you can write a folk song Very or a cool. reggae song because it's you're not really trying to fit within the framework of of what Atlas Genius is. Headlining tour this year. Yes, we are. Skylar Grey is going to be opening for you guys. Yes, correct. Um, what can we expect with this tour and how excited are you? Skylar Grey is so great. Yeah, you know what I'm really looking forward to is it's one of the probably the first tour that we've had where we're touring with someone who's just slightly different a different I guess lane than you know we're the alternative lane. She's a little bit more uh, left of that and so it's exciting that, that it's going to be a broader fan base. You know, it'll be her fans, which I some of them may not be familiar with us, and, and mm -hmm. vice versa. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, there's a couple of songs on the new album that we haven't played live yet. That oh, we're gonna, cool. We're going to play now on this tour. So it's going to be an exciting tour. A little think. dance routine, maybe? A little choreograph There is definitely going to be uh, <laughs> some dance routine, some mood walking okay. and that kind of thing. Nice. But basically a lot of moonwalking. <laughs> All the traveling you're doing, the touring you're doing, there's got to be 
a way to survive it because it's not easy. Yes. Yeah, um, it's trying to get sleep wherever you can. Don't make the mistake of partying every night because there's always the opportunity to go out and have a drink. Yeah. Uh, if you do that, that's fine, but you will feel you're gonna feel it the next day. Yeah. And it just adds up. You're doing other festivals too this year. Yes, Which we're doing festivals? Firefly, uh, Bottle Rock, Hangout Fest, uh, amongst a few others that I can't think of right now. <laughs> do you have a favorite? We did Firefly a few years ago. We got there seven minutes before we were supposed to go on stage. There's a photo actually on our Instagram account from Firefly in 2013. And it's me in front of, I think we had 20,000 people waiting and we almost missed the show. No. Because the traffic was so banked up that even you know, like we were, we had a hand out the window, so it's okay, we're the bands. Please let us <laughs> through. We we're on the shoulder of the road, totally illegal. Yeah. They actually sent out a police uh, car to find us to help us Shut get there. Up. They couldn't find us. Luckily, we, we got there and, um, and the show went on. So that was a special one because it was, it almost you didn't happen. You worked for it. We yeah. really it worked for that. So I know you're really good friends with the Imagine Dragons guys. Yep. I think that you should do a collaboration with them. You, yeah, I, I'm really close with. Uh, with their drummer Dan and their uh, bass player Ben, uh -huh. um, just really, they're all great dudes. I, they, they've been on tour forever. I haven't seen them for a long time, so maybe next time I we make it happen. Maybe I'll, I'll force them to sit Do down it. and work on a track. For you, what's been like your the biggest career highlight? Would you say playing Letterman, mm -hmm. uh, doing Hollywood twice? I mean, that's like the biggest. Clearly, <laughs> the highlight. Just meeting your idol, like the idol of of all idols for any musician. The other just just the other day. It was Wait, incredible. You tell us about this. So, um, Paul McCartney came up to me. No big deal. Uh, <laughs> tapped me on the shoulder and asked me to play a song. Randomly, I turned around and had no idea that he was even in the vicinity. Do you think your that face was, was like shock, or do you like did you play? Oh, it cool? I'm sure. I mean, there's no way that I played it cool. But he probably expects that. He's used to it in a way. He know? walks around blowing people's minds. I think he. <laughs> totally. I think he enjoys this. I mean, if you were Paul McCartney and you knew you had that kind of power, you almost do actually. <laughs> You know, I'm certain there are certain people in this LA who would be blown away if you <laughs> tapped him on the shoulder. I mean, it's Paul McCartney. He knows that virtually anyone is just going to be blown away. So it was, and it's one of those things that I'll be talking about for the next forever, 50 years probably. What advice did he give you, or did you guys you chatted for a bit? Um, we just, uh, I, I really don't even know what we spoke about. It was, just a, it was just <laughs> one of those conversations that was just a blur. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just asked why he was here. I said that we'd played a festival with him before which he clearly wouldn't have remembered, but yeah. it was, you know, it, he was just, he was really nice. Uh, everything you would want him to be. And what else are you looking forward to this year? Uh, a bunch of touring. Um, yeah. Like I said, we've got the tour coming up in April with Skylar Grey. Um, we've got some TV performances coming up, some late night shows, uh, some festivals. So just doing that, getting on the road and playing the songs again, um, as well as just continuing to write um, some new songs for Atlas and also for other artists. Awesome. Keith, thank you so much. Thank you. It's so good to see you. It's great to see you. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Cheers. Bye.